Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we will talk about how you should clean your PC at least once a year. So um, as you can see it has some dust over here. Yeah, it needs a little bit of cleaning. So for this operation we're gonna need a screwdriver, magnetic one, so it's gonna be easier. I'm also gonna be replacing the coolant. The CPU paste or how do you want, thermal compound, how do you want to call it? Artix MX2. And also, I'm gonna need a place to put all the screws. So, let's get into it. Okay, so not too dirty. We got a little bit of dust over there. You can already see also on the fans. And as you can always see here, a lot of dust on the video card and on the home tape. Let's see how it's done. As you can always see over here on the Source. Also, a lot of dust. Let me show you over there. Okay, I'm gonna need to take everything off and we're gonna clean it. So, let's start by removing all of these. Removing the front panel so I can clean it. And then uh, video card, coolers, all the fans, I mean, water cooler for the CPU and the fans, and also the power supply. The power supply is a little bit dirty. It's, it's been like a year or some. Sorry for the bad cable management. So, let's get into it. So first I'm removing all these uh, uh, stands or supports, how you want to call it, so I can remove all these, uh, as you can already see, these are drives, that drive bays that you can remove, but I need to remove the front cover, and then uh, we'll see, let's get into it. Let me see how to put the camera, okay, you can see we have a screw over here, one over here. It's really important that you use a magnetic screw, screwdriver, so you can see the screws don't get lost. As I mentioned, you need a tray. Okay. I'm right hand sided, but this is gonna take some. Just okay. As you can see, it is slowly getting. Okay, we have one more over here. Okay. 
Okay, just one second. So we can already see. Also, you can see here a lot of dust. As I mentioned, this is my one year cleanup, so. bad on this side I mean it's a decent amount of dust but it's nothing out of the ordinary okay so let's see we have a few more screws for the front panel one over there. I think that's the last one. Okay, so let's see. So let's see. Okay, so we have these LEDs which come to the side. Let's see, oh, okay, over here. Okay, we have the LEDs. Let's remove those. And now, I still need to unplug the hard drive, the SSD, my backup hard drive. And now let's see if the drive is So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start by cleaning with this and then I'm gonna start removing the steel card for this
So, uh, let the time lapse begin. So now I want to replace the thermal paste on the CPU. One out. Three more to go. Okay. This is on. Not that bad. Let's see after we clean it and what is going on. Just a second. Okay, now let's continue with the cleaning. Of course, you gotta do something, so I gotta do it with one hand. Uh, I have uh, one paper towel, and this is uh, alcohol. So. Whoa, it was really, let me zoom in, as you can see it's really hard. It seems like uh, when it was mounted, it had too much thermal paste, as you can already see here. I'm gonna take, a, as you can see here, a cleaning, ear cleaning. I'm 
gonna wipe everything up nice and clean as you can see okay. and now I'm gonna do the same with uh, one from the water cooler and just place it in a position where I can actually film okay so this doesn't doesn't want to stay so I'm gonna just a second so same alcohol as you can see this is really really hardened okay let's just take another one one of these The processor is clean, the cooler is clean. As I mentioned earlier, we have a thermal compound, which is Arctic and X2 thermal compound. So, the thermal compound, just a grain of rice, and it's enough, it should be enough. Reminder, this is the one I'm using. Arctic focus. For, for some reason, it won't focus on the name. Arctic MX2 compound. So now we're putting everything back together. Amazing the amount of 
dust that was in here, also changing the thermal paste, uh, everything. But of course, it's not perfect, but yeah. Okay, now we're gonna put the side panel. Open okay, of course, this place has some really nice tools. This has, uh, as you can know, this is a see-through because you can have some plexiglass here and you can see inside it. Okay, Screenshots with uh, 
the current uh, temperatures after the cleaning. I mean, everything should go down a little because, as you saw, the thermal compound was uh, really uh, dirty and uh, was very solid, not really doing his job to cool the CPU. As uh, for cleaning, I used uh, alcohol, medicinal alcohol, some uh, safety cotton buds, and cleaning wipes. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.